Hello! In this video, we'll walk through creating a data source to target river using the MySQL connector in Rivery. Firstly, let's open up a new data source to target river. I'll click Create New River and then choose Data Source to Target. In short, a data source to target river will ingest data from whichever source API or native connector we choose and dump that into our Cloud Data Warehouse or Target. In this case, it'll be pulling from MySQL and loading data into Snowflake. So first, let's name our river, MySQL load, I'll call it, and then navigate to our source step. Here is what we'll define what our source will be. So I'm going to search MySQL and then select it. I'm now prompted to create a MySQL connection. So once I enter my hostname and credentials, I can test my connection. And then I'll save this. Initially, a Rivery help wizard pops up to help us navigate our first MySQL river. So I can either use this wizard or close it here if, if I don't feel I need it. In this case, we'll, we'll continue with the wizard. So first I have my connection that's defined, uh, the one I just created. So I'll click next. Now I need to define a schema that I want to pull my table from. So what I can do is click in the window and Rivery will query my MySQL database to see what schemas I have available to me. I'm going to click Employees and then Next. Now the same things happen for tables within the schema. So again, I can choose the table that I want to load and I'll choose my Employees table and click Next. Now I'm navigated to my target step. For this, I'll choose Snowflake. And again, I have to create a connection. So I will create a new connection. I will enter my credentials and test them. And then go ahead and save the connection. Now I'll make sure to select that connection and navigate to my next step. So just like Rivery queried our MySQL database to see what schemas uh, and tables we had available, the same will happen for Snowflake. So I will select my schema that I want to use, click Next. Rivery has already named our table for us. We can edit this if we'd like. I'll just say MySQL employees and click next. Now we define our loading mode. The options here are overwrite, append only, or an upsert merge. In this case, I will overwrite to create a new table. Next, what's going to happen is Rivery will run an auto mapping meaning it will automatically detect the fields and field types uh, within the table that I've selected to pull so that I don't have to manually define these. So once my auto mapping has finished running, I can see all of the fields I'll have in my table and the type of field those are. Now I can go ahead and run my river. And success! We successfully loaded a table from a MySQL database into our Snowflake